but I find it simplest to illustrate it by hearing without comment so that you can get into tune with what is. You can't really get out of tune with it, but we don't know that yet. <laughs> Maybe some of you do. <laughs> Hello, welcome to the show, Trucking Tendencies. I am your host, Trucking Tempo. Oh, my back. Just got from the get, got back from the gym and focused on my lower body every single time. It's um, you know, I noticed my my dad. He's older and he can barely walk, and well, it's getting harder for him to walk. And he doesn't really have a a solid foundation underneath him. He really, I mean, he he always he was always an active person, but um, he really deteriorated his knees. With um, he would play handball, and uh, it's really it's a heavy load when you're playing like tennis or or handball with the little blue ball. It's a lot of wear and tear on your on your cartilage on on your knees and stuff so i'm i'm staying away from that i'm doing the machine and anywho this one is on in and out um um in and out burger in and out burger dot com i love in and out i don't know how they're doing it but they're doing it 75th anniversary they opened their doors in 1948 congratulations that's amazing so should I go to their about us history cookout truck menu locations employment foundations let's go to their history read a little bit about their history 1948 First in and out Burger Opens. Harry Snyder introduces California's first drive through hamburger stand in a space barely 10 square feet at Francisquito and Garvey in Baldwin Park. Every day before dawn, Harry visits the meat and produce markets to pick out fresh ingredients, which he prepares by hand. Meanwhile, his wife Esther diligently takes care of all the accounting for the new restaurant at their home right around the corner. 1948. Two-way speaker box introduced. Working in his garage at night, after long days of cooking burgers, Harry pursues his vision of enabling guests to order and receive their meals without leaving their cars. The introduction of the his unique two-way speaker box Let's in and out offer drive through service worthy of its name. That is, that's passion. That's, that's crazy. That's so cool. And that shows you, you know, you're not tired at the end of your day if you're not pursuing and going home and, and continuing to work on your, your career and your ambition. That's crazy. 1954, updated logo. So, oh, that's the, that was the quote. Uh, when you get home from work, you're not tired. You're just uninspired or something. But anyway, 1954, updated logo. The iconic in and out arrow makes its first appearance, replacing the original no delay sign inspired by their new logo in and out Associates adopt the saying, the arrow points to pride, and we all work under the same arrow. 1958, 10th anniversary, in and out celebrates a decade of growth with five Southern California restaurants in the San Gabriel Valley. 1958, bottle drinks become fountain. Fountain service replaces bottles. in and out now offers a choice of Pepsi, Cola, Nesbit Orange, and Hires Root Beer. A 12-ounce cup without lid costs a mere 10 cents. 1961, animal style, registered, burgers prepared, 
The first animal style burger is created in response to customer's request to prepare your burger animal style. We mustard cook the beef patty and add your choice of hand leafed lettuce and tomato plus we add pickle, extra spread and grilled onions. 1961 used plain paper as lap mats. At first, Harry takes the brown wax paper used to package his bakery buns and creates hand-cut lap mats for guests who choose to eat in their car. Then he has an even better idea. Switching to pink butcher paper makes dining even more appealing on the bench, seats common to cars of the time. 1963, double-double, registered, on store sign. Always committed to giving customers what they ask for, in and out hangs a store banner early in 1963 inviting guests to try a double-double. I love those. Later, the popular new offering becomes an official part of the menu. 1963, Patty Making Facility opens. A new facility dedicated to providing increasing numbers of Increasing numbers of guests with traditional in and out quality begins operating operations using the freshest ingredients available up till now. Each chuck personally selected and ground under Harry's supervisions has been hand formed into patties by Esther using a manual press. Wow. 1970. Character glasses introduced. So cup glasses, a collectible glass becomes a, the first in a long running assortment of promotional glasses featuring characters, movie and holiday themes. The cost in 1970 was 29 cents with a Pepsi. All are collector items today, but only the Christmas and Indiana Jones trademark Temple of Doom glasses display in the in and out name. 1971. Irwindale Drag Strip Thrives. The longtime association of an in and out with drag racing and classic cars builds on Harry's initial 1965 investment in the development of Irwindale Drag Strip. In and out's burgers were sold in concession stands to racers and fans who spread their enthusiasm across the country. Harry's son, Guy, also began developing a lifelong interest in cars and drag racing. 1971. Lap mats used for customer service. A suggestion from a printing company inspires Harry to replace butcher paper lap mats with printed mats that offer helpful information to customers. Early mats featuring local maps with in and out locations would often wind up in the glove box to help drivers find their way around town. 1972. First crossed palm trees planted. One of founder Harry Snyder's favorite movies, It's a Mad, 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 Mad World, features characters racing to find treasure buried under four palms, four palm trees planted at resemble the letter W, because each in and out story, because each in and out store is Harry's treasure. A, traditional of, a tradition of planting crossed palm trees in front of most of its in and out locations begins. 1973. 25th anniversary at the quarter century mark, in and out has 13 restaurants open, all in Los Angeles County. Every restaurant is a two-lane, meaning that it has two lanes for drive through customers, no dining room, and often a handful of small tables outside for guests. 1974, first cookout event, a grill loaded onto a pickup truck and accompanied by two of its in and outs earliest associates launches the cookout department with an event at Badillo School in Covina, California today. More than 10 fully self-supported cookout trucks and 125 associates serve venues and events ranging from schools, churches, and charities to weddings, birthdays, and concerts. 1974. 
continued. First Rose Parade cookout. In and out file fires up the grills on New Year's Eve on 1974 at its first tournament of Rose Parade in Pasadena, California. Today, In and Out still feeds all of the tournament bands and band fest every December 29th and 30th at the end of the Rose Parade every January 1st. Plus, both football teams in the Rose Bowl at the team feed. Continued 1974. Change to red aprons. The traditional color of in and out in and out becomes part of each associate's uniform as red aprons replace white. Until now, uniforms have been all white except for black shoes and belts. 1975. Milkshakes added to the menu. Real ice cream. Real ice cream milkshakes officially joined the in and out menu. Malts had previously been available at select locations for nearly a decade. Earlier shakes had been mixed for customers right in their paper cups, requiring associates to have plenty of skill at avoiding ripping those cups during preparation. 75 continued. First t-shirt designed. A cartoon Fryman designed by in and out founder Harry Snyder becomes the first in a continuing series of popular t-shirts after several years. Guy Snyder in, begins introducing new designs inspired by his love of cars and racing around 1984. Announcing a new design from a top artist becomes an annual tradition. Today, in and outs customers can purchase shirts at all our locations, including company stores in Baldwin Park and Las Vegas, and through our website. Yeah, I like collecting them at like different different states, but they're not in all the states. Like Nevada, Arizona, they have them there. They have a little label underneath the state of the, the name. 1913 to 1976, in memory of Harry Snyder. in and outs founder Harry Snyder passes away in December of 1976. His sons, Richie and Guy Snyder, take over as president and vice president, respectively. Harry's commitment to providing his customers with the freshest, highest quality foods and spotless, sparkling environment has given the company, company's 18 restaurants a reputation of excellence. Harry's devotion to his associates, who are treated as family, as important as his core values of cleanliness, cleanliness, quality, and service. The innovative spirit that inspired Harry to develop the two-way speaker for drive through customers and the commitment to quality he demonstrated by thoroughly inspecting and selecting meat and pr produce every morning in the early days have contributed to, his, to a legacy that will carry in and out toward the next century, guided by an unwavering dedication to its customers. 1979, first dining room restaurant. A new era begins when restaurants, restaurant number 21 in Ontario becomes in and outs first single drive lane location. After this, only 13 more restaurants were built without a dining room. Future restaurants now will also offer large open and comfortable dining areas where customers can sit down and enjoy their burgers. 1984. In and Out University begins. In and Out University building opens. Situations on situated on the site where Snyder's home stood in 1948, In and Out University gets its own building after operating just around the corner from store number one in 1977. Rich Snyder launches the new facility in December, ensuring that entry-level managers from all in and out restaurants receive the training that lets our guests look forward to the highest quality food, cleanliness, and customer service. 1984, first restaurant without a drive through in and out opens store number two in Placentia, California, which is the first of a handful without a drive through lane. As of 2012, five in and out restaurants all in California are in the style, are in this style. Laguna Hills, 
Mill Valley, Glendale, and San Francisco, Fisherman's Wharf, as well as the original Placentia location. 1984. Help us prevent child abuse. You donate, we match it three to one. Hearts seal. In INO Foundation started. Esther Schneider and her son, Rich, established a child, blu- child abuse fund, which later grows in to become the in and out Found- Burger Foundation, driven by Esther's belief that every child deserves a chance and a future. The foundation's year-round fundraising efforts provide residential treatment, emergency shelter, foster care, and early prevention for children in need. With in and out consistently paying 100% of its foundation administrative cost, every cent raised goes directly to centers providing help to abused children. This includes millions of dollars over the last se- several years. That's amazing. I want to. I asked. Uh, I was delivering some potatoes to In and Out in Phoenix, Arizona, and I asked uh, a lady, but she. I, I'm. I'm like. I'm sure. It's probably the answer is probably she won't be able to help me, but it's more up the ladder. And but how do they do that? Because that's very inspiring to have something of that nature where they match three to one dollar. And every time I purchase a burger, I don't know why them and uh, Panda Express. I'm not sure if they match it, but but they go, but they do receive the donations for charitable contributions and every single time you know I like to eat I like to donate so 1988 opened 50th restaurant on June 17th in in and out's 50th location opens in Thousand Palms at this time in and out is serving customers across across southern California at stores in Los Angeles Orange San Bernardino Riverside and Ventura counties 1989 company store opens a company store at in and outs original baldwin park location provides a new source of for the popular line of products that began with the first in and out t-shirt in 1975 and grew with the introduction of annual t-shirt designs beginning around 1984 the in and out company store now has three locations in addition to the online store the original in Baldwin Park, California, and two in Las Vegas, Nevada. One on Dean Martin Drive and one near the Link Hotel. Today, in and out fans can purchase everything from beach towels and board shorts to the oversized safety pins that secure our associates' aprons. 1990. Mark Taylor opens restaurant in West Covina. In and Out Burger number 64 opens in West Covina, California on I-10. The new restaurant has prominent location has a prominent location that is highly visible from the freeway and features a large one-of-a-kind split level dining area. The manager for this leading edge location is Mark Taylor. This restaurant served as an R&D launching or ground for new equipment and customer service innovations. Mark led these many endeavors while also providing manager leadership for one of the busiest locations in the company. Mark started his in and out career as an hourly associate, worked his way up to store manager and then earned the opportunity to open his important restaurant. In the coming years, Mark Taylor will become division manager, general manager, vice president, of operations president and chief operating officer of in and out burger uh, congratulations 1990 feed the homeless program missions around baldwin park welcome in and out cookout trailers where associates prepare meals for less fortunate the program involves to provide three mission cookouts a month currently serving missions such as the Los Angeles Mission, Ventura Rescue Mission, and Long Beach Mission. Yeah, that's cool. See, how organizations are 
pushing towards nonprofit. There are so many nonprofit organizations, 501c3s, there's so many on the books. It's insane. And as a society, we're moving towards that, like not for profit, because banks have turned like that, not for profit. Um, nonprofit organiz- um, banks that are, I guess, um, are they 501c3 banks? But they're, they're owned by the, you know, by the, by the customers, by the people that hold the accounts. Anyway, 1991, customer service line. As part of Rich Snyder's commitment to make every guest visit to in and out a great one, a new direct toll-free line becomes available every day from the time the first door opens until the last door closes. Still, staffed by associates with the first-hand experience working in our stores, they are fully empowered to take care of customers. The customer service line makes ins- makes ensuring the quality of the in-and-out experience is easy as a call to 1-800-786-1000. That's cool. Just don't, please don't employ people from, outsource that, <laughs> from people in a different in a different country imagine you pick up and it's a a thick accent oh man um but i don't know 1992 first store opens in nevada in and out's newest restaurant store number 80 opens in november at 2900 west sahara boulevard in las vegas nevada guests can now enjoy the quality and freshness of an in and out burger outside of california 1952 to 1993, in memory of Rich Snyder. Rich Snyder tragically passed away on December 15th. His dedication toward toward training in and out managers to provide our guest with the highest quality service helped drive the establishment of in and out University. Under his guidance, in and out has grown to 93 locations. Guy Snyder assumes the position of chairman of the board and Esther Snyder becomes president. 1994, a hundredth restaurant opens. On November 10th, Gilroy, California becomes home to the 100th in and out restaurant when the doors open at 641 Levisley Road. And it continues on. Wow, 2005. In 1920 to 2006, in memory of Esther Snyder. On August 4th, Esther Snyder passes away at 86, leaving a legacy of leadership and compassion. In the years before she married Harry Snyder in 1948, Esther served her country during World War II as a surgical nurse in the women, ex- in the women accepted by Voluntary Emergency Services, WAVES program. Wow. Salute. With the creation of in and out her role in the company's success ranged from slicing the very first potatoes and hand-forming meat patties and keeping the books and ultimately guiding the business as president while all while being an incredibly loving mother. Supported by her powerful faith, Esther's commitment to other touched others touched countless people through local schools, boys and girls clubs, medical organizations, and other me- groups, inspiring fond memories of her huge heart and generous spirit in all who knew her. Two thousand eight first restaurant in Utah opens. And 2010, Harry and Esther's granddaughter leads in and out. Quote, I am so blessed to have had such great family leaders come before me. Today, I view a big part of my job as adhering to and living up to the high standards that have been built over the past 64 years. But there is more to my vision for in and out we do we don't just 
want to live up to our own high standards. We want to exceed them. 2011, first restaurant in Texas. 2013, 65th anniversary. So that's fantastic. Oh, here it is. Here's the 2016 Slave to Nothing. Slave to Nothing Foundation created. The 2016 The Slave to Nothing Foundation was established in 2016 to help improve the lives of individuals and families affected by substance abuse and or human trafficking. Our foundation helps bring hope to people for a better life and that is one of the best ways to help our communities become stronger safer and a better place to live being able quote being able to gather a big fan as big a family and know that if we move together and do this we can really change we can change the world lindsay president in and out burger So there you go. Yeah, 2023 is the 75th anniversary. In and Out celebrates three quarters of a century with 394 restaurants open throughout California, Nevada, Arizona, Utah, Texas, Oregon, and Colorado. In its 75th anniversary, in its 75th year, the In and Out Burger family reaches over 38,000 dedicated associates. The family owned company carries the founding philosophy forward with a rigorous commitment to quality and freshness. All right. Thank you very much for tuning in. That is a lot of history. So, employment, Let's see what they got. I love ordering the double double grilled onions. Chopped chilies always hits the spot. So their menu is is clean and simple and short, but delicious. And I'm I'm already hungry. <laughs> they open it. When do they open? Quality you can wear. They have other products. T-shirts. I probably should get one of these. Twenty dollar T-shirt for the 2024 75th anniversary black. What they got the the nice jersey. It's a nice, what is this? Hibiscus hat, cross palm tree, cross palm tattooed hoodie, pullover, California Dreaming Igloo cooler. Oh, they got the drink cup, iPhone case, the drinking ring pool float, the backpack. Oh, they have a pocket tee. Oh, that dog collar. boys underwear back oh this one the varsity jacket is 70 bucks i gotta get that pom-pom keychain colorado puzzle a tactical bag a pad folio socks yeah that's nice bite me <laughs> ugly christmas sweater bite me so that's nice. You can do your shopping. I should probably do some shopping. Where's uh? Let me. I'm gonna go back to the main menu. So anyway, yeah. Thanks for tuning in, um, and uh, checking out this podcast. And thank everybody at In and Out. Um, inspiring me to give to be a giver too the way they're doing that and handling that so thanks again for tuning in uh hope you uh, enjoy the sticker if you got one if you haven't apologize and uh keep on trucking eyes on the road